we seek that higher knowledge. Only the ignorant can't relate. We just kill them with love and say. That's what it's about. We are Moors. Affairs, we are Moors. You heard what I said? Blue, white, green, fairs, not just red. We are Moors. Heard what I said? He talking reckless and hoofies for your head. We are Moors. You heard what I said? Your slave name Crest might have a more head. We are Moors. Twenty Moors rocking. You could call them Moroccans. Ray Seal West adepts. Let's get it popping. Got a problem with my sheep? Got a problem with me? I be on the front line rolling 23 deep. I be studying for hours, seven days a week. Working on my higher self, cause the devil don't sleep. Big ups to Cujo L, that's the iron sheep. Sevens up, facing the east, praising Allah. Astrology, cosmology, that's the real law. I slow roast ya, master the flame like Zo Roaster. The rise of the new Moors, old. We seek that higher knowledge. Only the ignorant can't relate. We just kill them with love instead of hate. That's what it's about. We are Moors. Affairs. We are Moors. You heard what I said? Blue, white, green, fairs, not just red. We are Moors. Heard what I said? He thought them reckless and hoofies for your head. We are Moors. You heard what I said? Your slave name Crest might have a more head. We are Moors. Twenty Moors rocking. You could call them Moroccans. Ray Seal West adepts. Let's get it popping. Got a problem with my sheep? Got a problem with me? I be on the front line rolling 23 deep. I be studying for hours, seven days a week. Working on my higher self, cause the devil don't sleep. Big ups to Cujo L, that's the iron sheep. Sevens up, facing the east, praising Allah. Astrology, cosmology, that's the real law. I slow roast ya, master the flame like Zo Roaster. The rise of the new Moors, old heads move over. That Kundalini energy rising up like a cobra. This is training day, mount up with real soldiers. Elevate beyond the hate and claim your lost estate. The only reason you hate is you too blind to relate. The only reason you hate is you too blind to relate. We are Moors. Heard what I said? Circle seven, snap back, not just affairs. We are Moors. You heard what I said? Send the hoofies for your head. We are Moors. You heard what I said. Your slave name Crest might have a more head. Stop talking crazy. Moors. You can't be everything but Moors. That's like willing to stay minority and not mature. Therefore, Taj to be gay taught the world don't respect, don't respect you. you. However, since you wanna be it, you go down when they fall. Right. They, the ones you call government, that's really a corpse. Black man means funeral director. Should make sense, of course. Music is the food. And the message, the medicine True. Mumble food is poison I'm with the golden era Very veterans rich. Like Mark D, condolences QB, R.I.P. Prodigy Who studied the history of the Moors and etymology You missed the Corsica headband Disguised as a bandana Moorish 
the MC, the real Marathi, not the French Montana. Kendrick Lamar, you say right? Trust me, Hebrew's a language. Lupe put more in his video, made the point vantage. You're seeing Bay knows the Bay, Bay knows Moorish master MC. Fuquan Bay and Daddy I, you are on some Moorish degrees. Spraga and Bojuno, they even kill Peter because of Macintosh. Still visit the global planet, hip hop astronauts. Milky Way flow, rays of tassels, blind unbelievers. To higher than other senses, to still pick up the frequency. Pick your addiction, truth will still make itself known. To go platinum now, you gotta give up more plus your soul. Lush professor built pyramids, I watch Dream Jam steady. Cause Nori said you are the on a track, so call me Petty. Also, Martin Moore, exec produced the War Report album. Aboriginal super cat taught me how to hang and scalp them. Operation Lockdown video, feathers like a set of Duke. Initiate invasions, activate our doors, every spook. We are Moors. Heard what I said? Circle seven snap back, not just affairs. We are Moors. You heard what I said? Blue, white, green fairs, not just red. We are Moors. Heard what I said? Keep talking reckless and the hoofies for your head. We are Moors. You heard what I said? Your slave name, Crest Manhattan. Okay, my beautiful black people, I want to show you something. This is how the lawyers are getting um, these white people off on charges after they kill us, okay? This is from the Supreme Court of the United States. And basically, this is from the Dred Scott case uh, versus John F. A. Sanford. And if you take a look down here, it tells you that this is how they're getting uh, white people off for killing us. Persons of African descent cannot be, nor were ever intended to be citizens of the United States. This is in the Constitution. Now, I've been trying to teach people this for the longest time um, on the Facebook group and everything, but this is important to get this video out here because black people are not understanding that they're not citizens. They think that they're equal to these white people despite the things that white people are doing to us. You need to wake up. Like, really, get the boogers out of your eyes. You know, go ahead, rub your eyes, get the boogers out, and and get the wax out of your ears and listen up. You will never be equal to these white people. These white people do not like you. They don't respect you. They don't look at you as human. Why? Why don't they look at you as human? Because you call yourself black. You call yourself Indian. You call yourself tribe of the Cherokee, whatever. You call yourself all these fictions. That's why you're never going to be on an equal playing field with them. The second reason is because the people who say I'm black, they're actually the white man. The people who say I'm black, Black Lives Matter and all that stuff, they're actually the white people. How do we know they're the white people? Because they have high concentrations of melanin. But how can you say that? Because when somebody who's not from here, for example, Mustafa Hefni, the Egyptian, who's a dark-skinned brother, and he came over here and had his passport said he's white, and he got mad. He got mad when he came to so-called United States from Egypt. And when he came here, they classified him as white. And he got mad, took them to all types of court and all that stuff because he wanted to be classified as black because the Egyptians are black and Kush is black and everything means black. That's how they played their self. So, so remember, the reason why the people are never going to be on a level playing field with the modern Europeans is because one, the so-called black man 
calls himself black which if you're not if you're claiming black that means you're african if you're african then you're not a citizen of the united states so stop going to their governors and going to their mayors and going to their prime ministers and presidents and whatever because you're not a citizen and second the so-called people who call yourself black they're actually white because black and white has nothing to do with your skin complexion it has to do with your status and the highest status is the white status guess what the lowest status is guess just take a guess what the lowest status is all right you're considered to be three-fifths of a human this is why they're able to do the awful things that, that they do to us now let me tell you they treat animals better than they do us they don't even you see how they pine and whine why why do they treat animals better than they treat you a uh, fish in nemo is a more a cartoon fish in nemo is moorish and if you go after the children that fish gets a lot of props that's not some nigger fish that more fish in nemo He's the man speaking for the fish. A uh, dog has a nationality. Dog has a nationality. You take, you take. A German guy's dog and you try that that stuff that you tell your dog in English and see what happens so if animals have a nationality animals have a nationality to the point where they're gonna pay, make laws so that people have to pick up dog shit and everybody just, you know, gets a little bag or whatever like that, picks up the shit for a dog. They wouldn't even tell you toilet paper. They'll tell you they're out of toilet paper. Everybody going all over the world hunting, trying to find some toilet paper. Guess what? The more... Who knows the Arab guys? He went to them and every week they had his 24 pack waiting for him. Because they know that he's a more. No questions asked. If you want toilet paper, we already got yours in the back waiting more. So having a nationality means something. But you know, I want to hear what Moors are saying. So let's let's listen to the black lady over animals they don't do that to us they treat us they treat us like we're gum on the bottom of a shoe or boo-boo at the bottom of somebody's shoe y'all need to wake up i'm, I'm telling you y'all need to wake up this is what i'm going to need every single solitary last black person on this planet to do well united states anyway go to the law.com you see this go to your app go to the app store go to the law.com Scroll down to where it says citizen. Okay, let's get to the to the C's. A B C C I T I. Let's see. Okay, I went to a little bit too far. Scroll down to citizen. C I citizen. Click on citizen. And read that. This is their law, guys. Okay. Citizens are either native born or naturalized. Native citizens may fill office, any office. Naturalized citizens may be elected or appointed to any office under the Constitution of the United States. Okay? Now, let's just back up a little bit. Let's just back up a little bit. There's 
a landmass called the Americas. The Americas consists of North, South, and Central. North America, North America has Mexico, United States, and Canada. Now what you have to understand is that Mexico is Aboriginal and Indigenous to the Americas. They're not foreigners. So anywhere they go in the Americas, they're home. So there's no such thing as a legal immigrant that's from Mexico or Brazil or Chile or Paraguay or there's no there's no such thing as an illegal immigrant from those places because all those places are in the Americas. How it's not the Americas is when you play this game that United States and Canada are countries when they're not countries. They're not part of the landmass. So when they say citizen of whatever, they're not talking about you're a citizen of the landmass of the Americas. They're talking about you're a citizen of their jurisdiction that they created called United States and Canada. Which both of them are the same. That's why if you go downtown Toronto right now, which is Canada, they got United States flag flying down there. Why are they flying United States flag here? Why is it that the police who are here and just go look on their vest, they have it on their vest or whatever, the patch that has the Canadian flag and then the United States Stars and Stripes flag. Why, why, they, got, why they got that over here? Because it's all the same place. It's one corporation. Nothing personal. That's just what it is. It's not anti-government and all that. This is what it is. It's not our dictionary she looked up. That's their stuff that looked up. Said citizen. All right. You're a citizen. That means you are owned by somebody. I don't know who. I don't know. Because from our perspective, we're national. For example, Spraga Benz. Who everybody, reggae artists and all that stuff. He's El Bay. I know he's El Bay because I know that he nationalized with Grand Chic Nature El Bay. And he's still a Moor. I know for a fact that he's a Moor because he put out a movie about being an illegal immigrant and all that. And guess what? In there, he's talking about the same stuff about citizen and talking about birth certificates and status and well why should I have to come to this country and go to them if I'm in I'm in my own land all the stuff he's talking about in the movie and you think that we as Moors don't know what we're talking about look what Spraga Ben's reggae artist guy is posting why is he posting this? Because he's just bored? No, because he's a Moor. Just go look him up. Spraga Benz L. Bay. He's a Moor. He's not Negro, black colored, and, and, and all that stuff. And if he's a Moor, and he's probably, he's probably as far as reggae artists, for sure he's top 10. He might even be top five. Now they could have put, when they did the verses, they could have put him with Beanie or Bounty. And he would have tunes to play too. And then they could have really went nuts and put Buju on there and let him do some songs and see what verses and all that stuff playing around. How come they didn't put the more up there? Um, the name's slipping me right now. For the movie. But just look it up. It's up there. Sprager Ben's movie. Something about being deported or something like that. 
The name of the movie is slipping me. But yeah, Spraga Benz put out a movie. Talking about all this stuff that he's playing you right now. Right? This is not just a nobody playing this. Right? And again, we're not even not even shatters. Not even. Not even one of those movies that, that you would have heard about or seen or whatever. Not even. Independent movie. It'll come up. The name's slipping me. Bear with me. It'll hit me eventually. Um, don't worry about the colorable language, black people and all that stuff. Right? Which is why he would post it. To show that there's certain black people who know on a certain level what's up, but they don't know the other side. The other side that, well, you know, obviously if they're telling you that you're not a citizen, the other side is, well, damn, you better find some citizenry as soon as possible. Because not being a citizen could probably why they're doing everything that they're doing to our people. And then we think that we got some rights or something like that and we're going to go vote and get something when that, that's not going down. Because you're not a citizen. You're supposed to have your own stuff. Right? Now, we want to, right, recognize what's going on right now, okay? Now, look what's going on. The Moors been trying to tell you green card, there you go. There you go. Being white is about status, not color. Being white is about status, not a 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 color. Now, this is not Nick Cannon or this is not Jay Z with his Nation of Gods and Earth pendant and all that. This is not those guys because they should be talking just like this. How come they're not talking like this? How come they're not talking like this? He's as big as them. They might have millions or whatever, but music, you can go song for song. They play a song, he plays a song. They play a song, he plays a song. So don't get it messed up that this is a novice or something like that. This is not a nobody in the reggae world. This is somebody prominent in the reggae world. And he's telling you that more has been telling you? So hold on a second. So if he's telling you that more has been telling you, then that means people, they, they, they've known what's up. They just find out they've been known what's up. Oh. Okay. That's why I know certain people are mad at the verses when they brought out the, the reggae stuff. You know why certain people are mad? Because they're acting like they're doing something for that culture. Like, everybody in the world knows about reggae. Talking about. Play a Bob Marley song for anybody in the world, they start singing. They don't even speak English. They're singing. What do you mean? Doing something for some culture, promote some culture. Why do you do this before COVID? Where was the verses before? Giving honor to the culture and whatever. Stop the BS. Stop distracting. Get to the point. White is about status, not a color. Being white is about status, not a color. So every single time you hear them say white people, no. Being white has nothing to do with color. And every time they say black people, no, that has nothing to do with color. That has to do with status. The highest status is white. The lowest status is black. That's just what it is. 
Don't debate Moors. None to debate. That's what it is. That's why, for the lack of better term, they assassinate our people in the street, in your face, on camera, give you a street sign, pay 15 million to the family, and they're going to murder somebody tomorrow. And then they give you a park, right? Then they hit off the family, 15 million, family shut the hells up, they don't talk about nothing else anymore or whatever like that. And then tomorrow they murder somebody else. And then they pay them out. They might not even give them a park or a street sign. They might just give them 50 grand. This 50 grand nigger. And then, of course, they're taken because they got their lawyers working for them, right? So they got their lawyers, right, working for them. And the lawyers are officers of the court who works for them. The same people who just killed their, their family or whatever, they're going to hire their, their man to go. All right. What should we do? Now, what should we do? What should they do? We have a nationality. We're Moors. What they should do is get a nationality ASAP. That's what they should do. We, we already got our nationality. We, we're, we're straight. Moors are straight. You don't worry about Moors. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. But what's the point to try to get you from being Moors? This is the whole point of everything. Right? If somebody hit me up. Like, could you watch this and just let me know something? I was like, no, we'll just do a video about it. Because, you know, certain people are playing games with you. And certain people are playing games. And they're taking this more thing like some, some poppy show. Why are they trying so hard to make us believe? Now, you know, I had to laugh when I read this. Because in my uh, household... No one ever said anything about, you know, us having any uh, Moors in us. Mm -hmm. However, growing up, um, a lot you know, on both sides of my family. And when when you and I had first had our sit down uh, over the phone, um, you know, you asked me, what did my family? He was like, OK, again, we know what the scholars say. We know what the books say. Mm -hmm. You know, we know what uh, uh, all of the leading figures say. But what did your family say? Mm -hmm. And I thought about it. I said, well, yeah, they said it on my daddy's side, mm -hmm. you know, that we got, you know, we are the Indians. Mm -hmm. uh, they said it on my mother's side as well. And keep in mind, my father, it was from Virginia. Right, right, right. My mother, uh, she was from way, and I, I never thought about it before. Mm -hmm. She was way from uh, South Dakota. Right, right. You know, mm -hmm. and I can remember going to my first powwow with my, with, with her grandmother. Mm -hmm. And I, I didn't want to go at the time because I thought it was, you know, I, I just wasn't into it at that particular mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it made me laugh when I read that from you because both sides of my family always talking about, you know, the, the Indian piece to our heritage. Mm -hmm. All right. They told you about the Indians? You're sure, you're sure without a shadow of a doubt that they told you about the Indians? All right. All right. All right, they told you about the Indians, right? Just as English explorers to Guiana disappointed in their quest for the Spanish El Dorado or City of Gold, substituted reports, what William West calls verbal promissory notes for riches. So Chapman replaces the complex relationship between Europeans and Native Americans in Virginia with emergent hierarchies of race imported from Britain. Although no groups in the mask are called black, the appearance of the olive Virginian princes, each with two moors attired like Indian slaves, seems to point to an implicit hierarchy of labor that posits 
the mental substitution of Indian slaves taken in intertribal warfare or pressed by the Spanish for Moors captured by Englishmen. So if they told you about Indians, what they were telling you about was the Moors, but your dumbass wants to be Indian. And this is not India. But when we say this is Morocco, you got debates. But over here could be Indian. You could say you're Indian. Get the hell out of here. How the hell are you Indian? If this is not India. But when more say this is Morocco, you want to debate something. But you're going to say you're Indian. In America. Which is not India. And then if you're Indian, then obviously you're not Aboriginal and Indigenous to America. Because you're Indian. Oh, the book... Shades of Difference, Mythologies of Skin Color in Modern England. And always try to get the people with nationalities books. Don't get the nigger books because they don't know what they're talking about. Get the people with nationalities. Shujata in Yengar. So make sure you get the people with nationalities books. Not a black guy with a European name and then he's the black scholar of those, the, the, forget those guys' books. Go get you some people with nationalities. Yakinen, Yosef, Yakinen, the nationality guy. Go get his books. Listening to niggers who don't want to be theirself. They want to be Indians and all this and making up every type of stuff to try to get you not to be more. That's all they want. You not to be more. You just keep playing that nigger stuff and they win. Keep playing that black Indian clan tribe BS and they win. Keep avoiding nationality and you lose all the time. And these people would have their nationality in the background and keep talking BS. Right? This guy's not a chief of anything. He's not a chief of something. This is Lex. Lex, me and Lex used to talk on the phone before he was the chief of the whatever. Me and Lex used to talk about Moorish everything. And he was in agreement with everything, no dispute about are we Moors and none of that. None of that stuff. This is Lex right here. I'm telling you, this is Lex, not chief of whatever. This is Lex right here. Me and him spoke on the phone. So he can't tell me anything right now about we're not Moors. Because when we were on the phone, he didn't have nothing to say about we're not Moors. He was in agreement with everything. These people play you because you're new to this. You're just listening to dumbasses. Trying to put you on some, get your head out your ass. Go study. Stop listening to these people putting up videos. Are you listening to them? These people aren't qualified. They're unqualified. People just came yesterday. Like I said, this guy's not a chief of nothing. He's not chief of anything. You know, follow some guy, he's a chief of nothing. The chief of nothing. I'm the chief of nothing. So. Listen to what I'm saying, right? And watch, we showed, you, we showed you one reference. We didn't speak off the top of the dome and all that stuff. The ancestors are talking through me and all that bullshit. We gave you a reference point for you to go research and check. Go check what we're saying and tell me we're not Mars. Don't debate Mars. Don't debate me. I'm not saying, I'm, I gave you a reference point. Don't look at me and say anything. Don't make any reply videos, okay, and then land more Instagram and whatever like that. None of that. No, no, no. Go debate. Go debate. Sujata Iyengar. Go debate Sujata. Don't say anything to Moors. Uh, but no one had ever had. Uh, you know, you know, you got a little yeah, bit of more yeah, in you. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> because, because you see, for me, and I tell people, you know, 
this is about facts over feelings, right? I get the concept of colonization. I know exactly what it means. I know exactly what colonization has done to our people, right? And for some, for anyone to tell me to push the narrative, well, everybody on earth recall Mars, how can you tell me that? To me, that's just asinine. It doesn't make any sense, period. Because now you would have to go into every faction of areas on earth, right? Into every area and speak to every so-called clan or tribe. Now, mind you, they all speak different languages now and come up with a consensus. You know what? Let's just all call ourselves Moors. Now, like we said, where's the reference point for that? Where's the reference point that there wasn't some type of council of all the people on earth? Because when we track, when we go to the Philippines, they know about Moros over there who are Moors. When we go to Cambodia, they're going to say the Aita Aita. The black-headed people. Guess what? Those people are relative to the Moros. But you think they got Angkor Wat and all that stuff looking like old Mac heads? You think they don't know who they are? Everybody knows the old Macs are Malian Moors. That's not. That's not a secret. Where's their facts? Where's their reference points? Right? Right, but like we say, check the people with nationalities. Stop listening and watching Negroes who claim they have knowledge, but then they got a European name on a license. You got a European name on a license? You're a European. And tell me nothing about black history and all that stuff. I hear what you're saying. What are you, what, what are you going to teach me? You're not going to teach me anything. You're going to keep teaching me the same BS narrative that I'm a slave from Africa or whatever. No, we're, we're, not, we're not even playing those ones. So we go to the people with nationalities when we want to study. Right? Nelia Natal. Standard or headdress. Historic essay. In 1621, the word Indian was substituted for Moorish. So that would mean before 1621, there was no such thing as the Indian. So if before 1621, there was no such thing as the Indian, and then after 1621, people were called Indian, then that would mean that anybody who told anybody about an Indian was really talking about Moorish. They weren't talking about Indian. They were really talking about Moorish. Because Indian is not what it is. It says it right there. Again, don't debate us. You know what I mean? Don't come and go live with us. Go look up Zelia Natal. Go debate her. Don't talk anything about Mars. Don't say nothing about Mars. Don't debate Mars. Don't whatever. Don't come push our stuff and go live with us and all that stuff to come prove your point of some BS. Go deal with the people who we're showing you are telling you that Indian was substituted for Mars in 1621. What more you want? What more you want than that? Anybody who called herself Indian, guess what? Indian wasn't used before 1621. If Indian wasn't used before 1621, then why are you, why are you just talking about... If you're the ancient gods of Egypt and stuff like that, why are you calling yourself a slave? And that's a modern term. That's not what the ancient people called themselves. And then you're gonna get mad when people treat you like a slave. Well, you said you, you said, you said you. Okay, I was looking at the protest, and you said, "No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace." Okay, but that's what you have right now. No justice, no peace. Why are you still chanting for that? If that's what, if you don't want that, like, what, I don't get. I don't get what what you're doing really. 
I really don't get what you're doing. You be chat chanting something like, you know what I mean? Give us justice, give us peace or something. Yeah, you're just chanting. No justice, no peace. And then when you get no justice, no peace, you're mad. Why are you mad? That's what you asked for. That's what you chanted for. That's what you've been marching for for the 60s. No justice, no peace. And you're still not getting it. And you still don't get what's going on? You're, you're, you're that much of a dumbass? You're that much of a dumbass that you don't know that you've been chanting no justice, no peace since the 60s and you still have no justice, no peace in 2020 and you don't get what's going on? You don't get that you're hexing yourself? On top of that, you're saying you're black, which is putting you in the lowest status, right? So on, on, so on top of you saying you want no justice, no peace, on top of that, you're calling yourself black, which is even putting you lower than where you were just saying no justice, no peace. You don't get it yet? You think Moorish is some group you're joining to something? No, nah, people have been playing you. People have been playing you. When are you going to stop letting people play you, take a deep breath, and go study about your Moorish history and see what you find out. Just see what you find out. Who knows what you'll find out? I don't know what you'll find out. But in my research, I found out that in 1621, the word Indian was substituted for Moorish. Now, that's big for me because I'm a Moor. And if I know that, hold on a second, the Indians were gone. But then we go to the Delaware Code, right? Remember, that was 1600s. I remember 1600s, right? Indian was substituted for Moorish. Remember, 1600s. And again, don't debate the Moors. Go talk to the Delaware Code people. This is their government website stuff. This is not what we're saying as Moors. This is the devil, the white man, the cracker or whatever that's saying this. The Lene Lenape Indian tribe of Delaware, referred to as quote unquote the tribe in this section, has an unbroken history of hundreds of years of settlement and continued residency in the vicinity of the town of Cheswold in Kent County. The tribe can date their ancestral ties as far back as the early 1700s. The tribe was formerly known as Moors, and for many decades of the 20th century, state documents such as driver's license designated the tribe's race with a M. The Delaware School Code of 1921 provided that the State Board of Education could establish a school for the children of people called Moors. Right? So again, people want to try to debate what we're saying. Right? There's not about, it's not about no different viewpoints and all that BS. There's truth and there's fiction. What side do you want? There's no gray area. Either, you deal, either you're dealing with truth or you're dealing with fiction. This is not what we say. This is what Europeans who are in this land say. That the school board, the school board had to create a school for children called Moors. Why would they have to do that? Why, why didn't they make children, create a school for blacks? Why didn't they build a school, a, a school for, the, for the Indians? How come they built a school for the Moors? Why is the European building schools for the Moors? Oh, but, but it's not, oh yeah, but it wasn't, it, it's not about Moors, right? We're Indians, all right, all right. Alright. Don't debate what we're saying. Don't forget. Alright. Why weren't why wasn't who called Moorish Europeans? The Moors didn't conquer Spain. That's where you lose yourself because you keep talking like a European. 
Spain started, Spain was founded in 1492. How did the Moors conquer Spain in 1492? When the Moors got kicked out of Spain in 1492. I'm talking crazy. And there were no... What does Moorish Americans have to do with Moors in Al-Andalus? And why would, why would, why would Europeans have to be called Moorish for something? They were subjects to the Moors. They didn't have any power when the Moors were ruling. They didn't have power. They lived in barns. Their king was a barn guy. Their king slept on hay. What are you talking about? Some Europeans. Well, Moorish Europeans. Europeans didn't have power. They weren't even called Europeans. So they wouldn't be Moorish Europeans in 700 to 1492 when the Moors ruled. I know there would be British. There might be French. There might be German. There might be Scottish. There might be Irish. I don't know, Europeans. What is that? That's not, a, that's not real. That's a fiction. You know, conquering Spain. Spain came later. What do you mean, why did we destroy all the info? Why are they doing, why are they doing that today? What do you mean? History repeats itself. It's just a different face doing it now. You think all this stuff going on right now, people getting murdered for for nothing, didn't happen before? All this stuff happened before. No, just put your questions in the chat. Put them in. Right? Because people are going to want to come on our stuff to try to push their whatever. We're not talking about no Middle East, Africa, and all that BS. We're talking about Moors in America. We're not talking about over there. We're talking about Delaware, Lenape Indian. We're, you know, we're talking about people misclassifying us and we going with the misclassification instead of what the history and the law says. We're Moors. That's what it is. But don't debate us. It's not anything to debate as far as us. If you want to debate, go say to people, go debate the people who said it. Don't debate us. What are you debating us about? Debating Moors. What are you debating Moors? Right. Indian Pueblo. Pueblo Indians of New Mexico are compared to the Moors. What the hell you want? Don't tell me about some East Africa. I'm not talking about no damn East Africa right now. We're in the Americas. Talk about the Americas. I don't need to add you. Add you for what? If you got a question, put it in the chat. You need to add you to do what? What are we adding you for? To do what? For you to come on here and talk your BS? For what? You got a question? Put it in the chat. I said the chat's there. Put it in all caps so we know the questions from the conversation and the comments. When you look up the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms, one of the sections talks about who this applies to. Nowhere does it say it applies to the people of the quote-unquote country. It said it applies to members of parliament. It applies to people who are quote-unquote in the government. So if they're the ones only protected by the Charter of Rights and Freedoms, then what are the people protected by? 
And why do they assume that they're protected by that if that has nothing to do with them? On top of that, if the Charter of Rights and Freedoms comes from the Constitution of Canada, which is an act, if it's an act, how is it legitimate? Because you watch the movie, guys acting and stuff like that. They get awards and all that stuff for acting. But that's not because they were really what they... They were acting. They were, they were playing around. Right? So if the Constitution is called playing around, and then, and then the Constitution comes out the British North America Act, but then you're like, well, hold on a second. How come it come out of the British North America Act? How come you're not talking about Canada, why are you talking about North America? Like what, how, hold on a second. So, British North America Act, and then there's a place called Canada, but that's only a portion of North America. That's not the whole thing. Or are they talking about something that they created on paper that has nothing to do with the landmass, just like United States, and they have people caught up Because you don't study. And then, and then, right? Remember, I'm talking about Charter of Rights and Freedoms or whatever. And then they did, they did the, the, um, the shock test. They did the shock test where they threw out the picture of Trudeau dressed as a Moor, and then everybody's mad, and they said blackface because of their incompetence. And then they knew that the people are still dumb, which is why you're in the BS that you're in right now. Because if you had said, saw that and said, hey, how come you dress like a Moor? And realized that he was trying to tell you something, because, you know, his father was a trilateral commissionist. No different than Prince said, F you guys, since you killed my mom. And took his Asiatic girl and said, F you guys. Same thing he did sending out that picture. Tell all these people what's up, that they're Moors. No, that's blackface. And then they get in their emotionalism or whatever like that. And then some people jump on that. And then they push this emotionalism and then people lose the point that he was telling them that black people are Moors because he was wearing the turban with the feather just like Noble Drew Ali and all that. Matter of fact, he might have been pretending to be Noble Drew Ali. We, we don't know, but you know, I'm just saying. Why would, he, why would he be dressed up as a Moor with a turban, with a feather, and then the black people are mad? Because he's doing blackface. When, no, that's not blackface. Blackface is when you do the, you put the lips on and stuff like that, and then you, you do the minstrel show. That's the blackface. You ain't dress like a moor. That's not blackface. When you dress like a moor. But you know, we're not moors. We're Indians. You know, we're black. We're like, I can't believe, I can't believe, I can't believe right now that these people really had Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson for some George Floyd, whatever, 2020, you know that Jesse Jackson helped kill Martin Luther King and you know that Al Sharpton is a rat for the FBI and that those are the guys you have on stage for your 2020, police murdered somebody. That's who you have on the stage. And then you bring up Killer Mike or whatever, who his whole family's police. And then you bring up T.I., who he just got off gun charges, 85 million guns and stuff like that. And then he got off his charges, you know, 
interestingly enough, you know what I mean? Get off some. You, you find me the brother who had all those guns in the trunk from the block. Tell me how he got off his charges. Oh, he, oh, he's still doing time. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, you don't realize what's going on? These people are manufacturing your leaders now. Do you know that? You, do you know that 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 this was a ritual to try to keep Jesse Jackson alive so that they can keep African American alive? Remember, you got Parkinson's or something like that. He's up on the stage looking like a vegetable. And then all these people with their energy facing one direction, and then they're getting all that energy. The black guys who sold you out. The black guys who sold you out on the stage, right? The pulpit. Right? Reverend Al Sharpton, the fat rat, FBI agent. And messy Jesse Jackson, who they killed Steve Coakley for putting out so much dirt on, on all these boule people. Because all of them sold you out. And then you still got them on the stage today. How you have to sell out on the stage? For some George Floyd. Then that's honors for real. You got a rat on the state. Well, I get, hey, you know, I, I know they're about to drop 6 ix album and that's going to go platinum and shit. Because people love the sellouts. Watch when his album goes triple platinum. Because they love the sellouts. Do you understand what it means for them to have Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson as the front piece for some Black Lives Matter right now, 2020? Don't forget, Messy Jesse was the guy who was on the balcony with all the other sellouts who didn't get shot in their neck. How come, any of those, how come none of those guys got shot in their neck? Because we know people who shoot. And why, why just get him out of the way? I think Messy Jesse's a vegetable because, you know what I mean, that's just part of life, no? You might pay for your stuff in this life. Don't get it effed up. Are you people taking advantage of these people's ignorance? Abusing them? Just because you can. You might, you might get it in this life. Don't think you're, you, you, could, you might not escape. Lying on, on, on the moors. Making up stuff trying to get people to not realize. For them to be whole and not three-fifths of a human being, they need a nationality and birthrights. Without that, you're these people's property, and they're going to treat you like their property all they want. Right? No, no, they're they're going to say, look, look, look at how look at how they have it right now, right? The bullet didn't kill MLK. They suffocated him at the hospital. Right? You know what that does? That lets all those sellouts that were standing on the balcony go free. That's what they just did. We got the countdown going. So, hopefully you learned something. But we're not done with these guys. These guys... They had a couple more things that they tried to pull, but we'll we'll get them again. Islam to all the Moors worldwide. Peace and love. Honors to all the mothers.